Hey guys, I'm Venom from Beastgrip, and this video is all about Beastcamp's presets. Presets are a huge time-saving tool that allow you to quickly apply any of your camera settings just in a few taps. It's not a new idea, however, we took it even further to make sure you always have a backup of your camera settings when your camera session got interrupted. Plus, you can even set a rule with a custom settings for a fresh camera start, so you are ready to shoot at no time. There are two types of presets, local and global. Local presets are available for white balance, focus and zoom in both photo and video modes. These presets are saved on your device and you have up to three preset spots for each of the settings. Global presets allow you to save all of the camera settings and they are available in video mode only. Global presets are saved on your device and in the cloud. They are also shareable between devices. Let's start with local presets. If you tap on white balance, focus and zoom, you will see three numbered icons by the slider. Each icon represents a preset. When it's white, this means the spot is available to save a new preset. I already have my focus and zoom presets for DOF MK2 adapter under icon number one. And as you can see, those icons are blue. Let's save another one for white balance. Right now I'm in auto and colors look good to me. Maybe I'll cool it down just a bit and now if I tap on any of available white icons it will turn blue and my preset will be saved. Let's change our white balance settings and save another preset under icon number 2. To apply your saved preset, simply tap on it. To delete the preset, tap and hold on the icon. It will turn white again, so your spot is available for a new preset and photo mode has exactly the same workflow. Now let's take a look at the global presets. On the top right corner we have a preset menu icon. When you first tap on this icon you'll get a pop-up notification asking to log in. To use global presets you'll have to create an account. It's necessary for a couple of reasons. Global presets are saved on your iPhone and in the cloud when your iPhone is connected to a network. This way you have all of your presets available on all of your devices if you are logged in with the same user ID. Also you can share presets with other users by entering the user ID email. So if you are working with multiple iPhones or collaborate with other creators on your project, instant preset sharing helps to save a lot of time. Once you sign up, the global presets menu becomes available. On the left side, we have all of the camera settings listed in the table, so you can quickly check everything in one location. On the right side, we have one tab with a presets list and I only have one preset named example. Plus, there are a few built-in options available. Current settings, which is highlighted, displays current settings of your camera. Less settings and default settings options I will explain just in a few moments. The second tab is archive of deleted presets and I already have a lot of my presets in there. When you delete your preset from the list, it goes to archive and it's still available in the cloud so you can restore it back to your device. I will delete my example preset and now it's available in my archive. So let me restore it back. It helps to clean up your presets list and still have a backup just in case. If you want to delete your preset completely, you have to delete it from archive. Let's create a new preset. I'm going back to my camera interface and I will apply my commonly used camera settings. For first preset, I would recommend saving your favorite or most used camera settings. In my example, I will set my video at 4K 60fps with the highest bitrate. Also, I always like to use grids. I'm not going to set my exposure, focus, zoom or white balance and I'll keep it on auto since these settings are very dynamic and depend on your shooting environment. Now when my major camera settings are applied, let's go back to the presets menu. To save your first preset, tap on save icon and enter the name of your preset. This first preset has my commonly used camera settings, so it makes sense to make it a default preset since default preset is loaded automatically with a fresh camera start. To save any of your presets as a default preset, select it from the list and tap on Make Default. 
Now let's go back to our camera interface and change some of the settings to see the default preset in action. I will change my resolution to 1080p and FPS to 120. Also let's disable the grids. Let's kill the app and launch it again. As you can see my default preset is loaded automatically and I have my 4K60 and grids applied. Many other apps launch new session with the major camera settings from your previous session, which also makes sense for many users. We can apply the same rule in the Bscam 2. If I go to the main settings menu, I can turn off the option Load default preset on start. Now for this example, I'm going to change my settings completely. Let's switch to a photo mode and apply anamorphic settings. Let's kill the app once again and do a fresh start. So now Bscam is loaded in photo mode with anamorphic settings applied. I personally keep my default preset option on, because I know that every time I launch my app, my camera will start at 4K60 and I'll be ready to shoot in no time. In case I need to apply some specific settings, I usually have my custom presets available and I can apply them just in few tabs. Let me show you a few other examples. This time I'll be using the DUF MK2 adapter. It's a very specific example, but it will show you how powerful presets are, especially if you have some experience filming with DUF adapters on your iPhone. So I'm in video mode and my camera is in default settings. This time I want to shoot at 24 FPS, so let's change it. Next I'll apply DUF image flip and make sure my image stabilization is off. Now we have to set our focus and zoom. As I mentioned before, I have my local presets available for both. So I'm going to apply my focus preset, which is 0.1 and my zoom of 1.2x to fill the frame. Now let's pull the focus on my SLR lens and everything looks good to me. Now it's time to save my preset for DUF adapter. And I'll keep my white balance and exposure on auto since I don't need the specific settings in my preset because in different location my white balance and exposure will be different. Ok, let's save it and I will call it DUF 4K24. It took me quite some time to apply all necessary settings considering that I already had my focus and zoom presets. So now let's kill the app. With a fresh start I have my default preset loaded. And obviously I'm not ready to shoot with my DUF, so let's load the DUF preset we just created. And just in few taps I got everything ready. And now if I want to change for example my FPS to 60, I can do that and save another preset if I want to and call it DUF 4K60. You got the idea. So your options are endless and you can save as many presets as you need for all kind of scenarios. Another thing I want to show you is the last settings option in the preset menu. So I got my DOF and let's pretend I'm actually shooting in my studio or somewhere else. My DOF preset is ready and all I have to do is to apply my white balance, exposure and let's do that. Suddenly my app session got interrupted. It may happen for a number of reasons and I think everyone experienced that. So let me kill it. Now if I launch my app again, all my DOF settings gone. It's still cool I got my DOF preset and maybe I saved my local preset for white balance before. So it will not take me a lot of time to get everything back in place. However, I also got my last settings in the preset menu. Look what happens if I apply it. All of my settings, including my exposure and white balance, were automatically saved before the app session was interrupted. So now I don't have to worry about anything, because I know there is a backup available for all of my settings and it doesn't really matter how much or little things were set. Everything is automatically saved and available in the last settings in my global presets menu. And lastly, you can share your presets. Simply swipe the preset you would like to share, tap on share icon and enter email address. Also, if you're logged in with your Beastcam user account on your multiple devices, you'll have your presets available on every device. 
Thank you for watching guys, I hope you will find this video helpful and you will start using presets in your workflow. You can also learn more about presets in our knowledge base at bizgroup.com. Make sure to watch other videos to learn more about Bizcam features and support us by getting the app from the App Store today. Thank you.